why working out hard every day is actually bad for your progress in the gym i know this uh, sounds a little bit kind of a shock for you it was a shock for me too when i first found out but bear with me for a few minutes because i'm going to explain you why working out hard every day is bad for your progress in the gym and how can you work out smarter to get the most out of your workouts We've been told that we have to work out hard every day. We have to put in the work in the gym to see the results. But then we've been told that we have to rest for our muscles to grow. So what's about that? What's about working hard every day and rest? How can you do this both at the same time? In the beginning of my journey as a professional K1 fighter, I was told that I have to work out hard every day to see the results until I found out some interesting stuff that helped me improve my progress in the gym. And to understand better what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, think about a farmer or a lumberjack. When you shake hands with them, you see they have a strong and firm grip. Where did you think they get that strong and firm grip? Working hard every day, putting 120% every day in their workouts? No. I don't think so. They're not putting 120% every day. They are working every day, putting in the work. They, uh, when they get tired, they rest, but they don't, do not force themselves to put in the work to get uh, all worked out or, you know, get all tired. They are putting in the work every day. That's where they get that strong and firm grip. and. Uh, I will give you a more in-depth example. Let's say we work out together. So your maximum at pull-ups is 10 reps and my maximum is the same, 10 pull-ups. But I decide to do 7 pull-ups and you do 10. You, do, you go on until failure. You will have to rest, right? You have to take a break, one or two day breaks until you will do your pull-ups again. But me not doing until filler reps i will do tomorrow again the other day again and i will do all week those seven pull-ups at the end of the week who will get the most reps in the gym me or you think about that i don't say you don't have uh, to work out until failure. it's better to it's good to work out until failure from time to time but not every day Maybe once per week you do a workout until failure, like at the end of the week you do a strong, hard workout. Working out should be fun, should be a fun thing to do every day. To, uh, work, working out should energize you. After a workout you must feel energized. Is you, if you don't feel energized and you don't feel good at the end, the workout wasn't that good. Uh, I'm at my new gym. This is my uh, academy, Boichu Combat Academy. I opened a new gym. That's why I took a break from uh, YouTube. So let's get back to the working out. For one month, try working out every day, but no, don't go until failure. Do like 70-80% of your capacity. Don't go full on, full on. Just maybe once per week or once a in two weeks go full on go 120 percent in your workout try this try this for 30 days to see how it fits your your progress if you see progress if you don't see progress and i would love to see some opinions on in the comment section below try it don't take my advice for uh, for a word you must try everything to see how it fits for you this uh, type of uh, training fits for me i only do 120 percent of, uh, of my workouts only in the preparation of my my training camp my uh, when i prepare for a fight not every day as uh, i told you try it try it uh, i'm going to prepare for a training camp i will have a t eight man tournament in my uh, country home country in romania i will train for a uh, eight man tournament it will be a blast but i will train only for one month i will be in training camp where i will go hard on on myself and it will be devastating it won't be that easy so 
stay tuned because more video about how I'm going to train, how I'm going to prepare for this uh, event will uh, come on soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment down below your thoughts about this type of training. Goodbye.